Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're going to talk about a database reactivation campaign we're running for a large home improvement company. Let's dive in. For those of you who haven't seen my stuff before and don't understand uh, what we're doing as an agency at the moment, we're running ads to what we call our anti niche sales Android. Okay, so we send traffic to this, it asks the prospect or the lead what industry they're in, and then it basically chats with them, qualifies them, and then we send them to a Google Doc after that where they can close to become a client, right? And we did this for a home improvement company. I think it was from a Facebook ad. It turns out they're an extremely large home improvement company over here in the UK. We had a call with them and we realized that there's a number of different solutions we can sell them. I'm not going to talk about them all here, but the one thing that they needed help with the most was database reactivation. They have I don't know, maybe half a million records of people that have opted in. So there's a load of data there, okay? And today I wanted to talk to you about how we how we do this and, and how, because it hasn't been done yet, right? This I could this turn into this into a little series actually. Um, but the first thing we wanna do is uh, find out how we're gonna, I'm gonna talk to you about how, we, how we're gonna run this, how we're gonna test it, and then we, how we're gonna scale it with AI. All right, so let's dive in with some steps that I'm looking to take to make this a super successful campaign and how we could potentially turn this into something that's very profitable if we go on a performance basis. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we needed to do was to negotiate a size of list for a database reactivation that they, they would be able to offer us, okay? Because they have such a huge amount of data, I think they'd be pushing to give us some kind of fairly aged data but I'm pushing back and say, listen, we need something that's within the last 30 days at least. I think they're generating about 60,000 leads a, a, a month at the moment. So there's there's gonna be 10,000 in there very easily that they can hand over to us, all right? So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take that 10,000 and we're gonna upload them into our CRM separately to their CRM. And we, we use high level with our CRM. If you've been following me or been in the agency space for a while, you'll probably notice that it's a, it's very popular CRM to use and, and we highly recommend it. But anyway, what we can do then is um, load that data up. And then what we wanna do is figure out and how, how we can turn a lot of these 10,000 into an appointment that can be then sold by, the, uh, by their sales team. Okay, and there's a few different ways we wanna do this. Well, there's probably one that we want to start with. We want to book them into an appointment, right? But sometimes going to a calendar page and trying to book them in there can be a little bit clunky. And sometimes consumers don't want to wait two or three days. They've got other stuff to do, right? So what I think we're going to try and do is ask them when they want the call back via SMS or email. What we can do then is like basically hotkey them over to the, the sales team or do a webhook and send that information to their sales team so they know exactly that they might just want to call now or it could be in five minutes, it could be in half an hour. We want to basically get to them as quickly as we can, if that makes sense. The second thing that might surprise you is that we want to do this very slowly to begin with, okay? We sell AI services and our hook to get people in is to use ChatGPT and OpenAI to be able to qualify and close leads automatically 24 seven. That's our kind of strap line. But when we start off with a big company like this, we wanna really try and take it slow to begin with. So for the first 100, 200, 300 people that we send an SMS to, I'm literally, and my um, guy that's helping me build this, are literally gonna be sitting in high level and getting back to people manually as we can, and then booking them into a call right there and then, okay? So it's gonna be very manual to, to begin with because what we wanna figure out is what questions they're asking if there's anything that we're not aware of that we can then feed into automation later. So this is really gonna be a learning phase for us and we're hoping because we're gonna be on it manually that we're able to give the home improvement company a great return on investment with the first two or 300 SMSs sent. And by the way, our offer is, um, it was 5K upfront deal we're, this is sterling and then 6K when we put 25K worth of business in their bank accounts, all right? So for us with 10,000 leads, we probably only need to make five sales out of 10,000 old leads in order for this to be very profitable for them. And then we can talk about scaling a little bit down the road, okay? So we wanna try and get that 25K worth of business with them manually to begin with. 
And then we've got nothing to lose with our automations and things like that as we, as we get going, all right? All right, so now we've got the small list, 300 people or whatever that is. Um, we know we're gonna work them manually and sit there and go back and forth with the prospect. What we wanna do then is think about how we're gonna qualify them. We wanna know from the client what their criteria is, the areas they install in, if they offer finance. We wanna ask all these questions to the client to begin with. And then we wanna send out what we call a hand raiser, okay? And there's nothing too complex about, about this, all right? It works super well. We'll get at least a 10% response rate, I would say, with an SMS. And there's no magic to what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a version of Dean Jackson's nine word email. Okay, but we're gonna do it via SMS. So for us, it's gonna look something like, hey, it's Joe here, owner of XYZ Home Improvement. Are you still considering XYZ? Okay, depending what the niche is, you can pretty much copy what I've done there and use it for your own campaigns, especially when you get going as a, as a good starting point, right? So what will happen then is, are you still considering windows and doors or you know whatever the niche is they're going to come back once they know it's a company they were familiar with already and they're going to say yeah or in a couple of months from now or it's too expensive or whatever that is this is where we're going to really learn our stuff for later on when we implement our automations okay so that's the first thing we need to do we've got the two or three hundred people we've got the message that we want to send and the next thing to do is really just hit, hit send and see what happens. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what happens when the flood of SMSs come back into our, our two-way SMS platform um, in high level, okay? So the hand raiser is, hey Joe, it's Dan here from XYZ Home Improvements. Are you still considering XYZ? Okay, let's just use windows and doors. Are you still considering windows and doors for your new home? Question mark. They come back and they say, yes. We wanna kind of qualify them at this point, okay? The first thing's the hand raiser, and the second thing is the qualification process before we make an offer, and the offer is to speak to the sales team. The way I like to do it, if people, like I chat to a lot of the prospects that come into my um, education business personally, and you'll see that I have some qualification questions that I put down to make sure they're gonna be a good fit and they're gonna get results from you know, whatever I'm offering. The same goes for this hand raiser, okay? So you wanna figure out what that criteria is, what your questions are. Sometimes you can do it via like a copy and paste and send the questions over, or you might wanna do it one by one and, uh, and ask questions in a very informal manner, okay? Remember that in the age of AI and all of this kind of technology stuff, people really value human interaction. So you might want to ask if they're a homeowner and then you might say, oh, how long have you, have you owned it? And then they might say, oh, 23 years. And then you might say, oh, amazing. Like you must've seen the house prices rocket since then. But you can really build some um, some kind of rapport with the, with the lead, which makes them feel like they want to trust you. You just don't want to book them into an appointment straight away. Okay, so once you can kind of have a, a human-like conversation, which by the way, you can build with AI, it just takes a little bit of work, but you wanna test this first. Once they're qualified and once they're good to go, you can then ask them if they wanna be connected to a sales agent. And if they say yes, you can say, we can do that right now, or is there another time that you wanna connect? And they can say, yeah, half an hour from now, and then you can we can use some technology to webhook that across to the client sales team, okay? So we're kind of, when we're starting out, where the middleman, there's the leads up here, there's the hand raiser, then there's the qualification process and there's the sales team, okay? So the quality of these leads are gonna be off the charts, right? Because they've responded to say they do want windows and doors. They've come back and they're qualified because we've qualified them in a human-like manner. And then we've passed them over and they're ready for a call. So the sales team will close these like crazy, okay? So if you can imagine 10,000 SMSs going out and a 10% response rate, a thousand people, if you don't get five out of a thousand people, and, and by the way, a thousand might be low, okay? It could be, we've seen up to 25%, but let's say it's a thousand people, you know, 50 is 5%, five is 0.05. So you only need, sorry, a 0.5% response rate or close rate to be able to make this company quite a bit of cash. So what's next? Now we have all of that data, we have what hand raiser works, we have what qualification questions you need, we have the style, you know, an informal style that we wanna chat with. There's lots of stuff that we can start building into what we call a sales Android at this point in time. We'll probably call it a, 
a hand raiser Android or something like that, okay? And then my tech guys can go off and build that and use what we've learned from these first 300 people and then send out a text message blast to the rest of the, the audience, okay, or the, the database. But I, even then, I wouldn't do more than about 500 at a time because we don't want to overwhelm the sales team. And the great thing is that when we've got this figured out, the sales team, like this company is just going to absolutely love us. I'm very excited about what this can do and um, how powerful this is for, for agency owners, okay? Because if, you, if you're not aware already, there's a huge industry on database reactivations, okay? There's people that have made a lot of money by getting hold of clients' databases or previous clients and sending a few SMSs like I've just said, and they've made a ton of cash. It's so easy, all right? It really is so easy. Now what we can do is use ChatGPT to be able to get in front of these clients and grab their database without them even kind of knowing it. Do you know what I mean? It's just a different angle in to get their database, which is where there's a lot of money hanging there in as low fruit, okay? So I hope you followed what I've said today. Maybe I've rambled a, bit, a little bit, but I think you should see the kind of process behind how we're doing it. I'll probably do a video um, about this once we send, send the first 300 out, give you guys some feedback and let you know how it went. Um, so if you do like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Got any questions or experience doing this type of stuff, we'd love to hear from you as well. Please uh, comment below and, and also subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know when we create new videos like this. I'll speak to you soon.